morning, folks, from uh, Greenville, South Carolina, not to be confused with Greenville, North Carolina. Uh, there are two Greenvilles, and I, I guess that begs the question, what's the point of naming a city, uh, although the same argument could be said of, you know, North and South Carolina, uh, we don't need to get into that. Uh, I'm on the lovely Swamp Rapid Trail, which I love the name and I love the trail, uh, which connects the city of Greenville to uh, Traveler's Rest, which is kind of a suburb. But it's a beautiful bike path situation, one of those old rails to trails conversions. Uh, it's a nice Saturday morning. Lots of folks out here, families and kids, and you know, there's shops. Uh, I started the day at the Tandem Crepery uh, and Coffee, that's both of those. The, it, was, it was a really long line, get there early. Um, but uh, it's tasty. And now we're just gonna go for a nice little spin in, uh, in Greenville. Of course, this trip will include an attempt on Paris Mountain, uh, but we'll get to that later. I'm gonna have a nice, a nice little ride and show you the town some first. Excuse me. There's all kinds of uh, really nice shops and cafes along the path. Uh, I'm enjoying a cookie from the Commons and a methodical coffee where the wine was, uh, was a lot more doable than the tandem crepe spot. Um, all quite tasty. So the bike path goes all the way downtown uh, where there's a beautiful walking area, there's a waterfall, all these cool cafes, uh, and it goes directly to where I'm staying uh, at the Embassy Suites, right to the door. So I didn't, I haven't touched pavement, uh, or not pavement with cars, on this whole ride. So Greenville was the host of the National Road Race Championships for I think it was four or five years when I first started racing. Um, the Paris Mountain was a legendary climb of that road race. Uh, we'd go up it four times every year and then you'd go like kind of finish in downtown. So a very challenging uh, KOM I'll be going for today and one with a lot of history on it. Uh, Greenville is where actually I got my tattoo. It was right after one of those national championships. Uh, I was out there with Kenda Pro Cycling. I must have been out 24, 25. Um, the, <laughs> the race didn't go well. You don't get a clean tattoo after a race that goes well. Um, it was uh, one of those like I'd been doing everything I could and uh, I've been at it a few years. Um, and, and I was winning, you know, a lot of the races available to me and then uh, line up for this one and it was, I was just so far from where I thought I needed to be. Uh, it was quite discouraging. So me and uh, my teammate at the time, Nick Waite, went out to, it was one of those, like I had the idea and he was like, yeah, I want to get the tattoo also. And uh, so we just did it right away before we could change our minds. We went to only tattoo place we could find. It was like a Sunday night. It was in like Spartanburg nearby, like behind a gas station. It was pretty bad. I had to get it touched up a couple times. It's, it's, it's okay now. Uh, doing a little recon on Paris Mountain. It's hilarious. I definitely would have raced up this climb I think a total like 12 times. I don't remember anything. But the thing is all climbs are kind of the same. I don't remember this guy in the uh, in the race. Appreciate it. Um, I do remember I was in the early break uh, last time I raced up this. That's where I met a uh, good friend Jesse Anthony. Uh, for the first time, always a fun place to, <laughs> to get to know somebody. It's in a five man breakaway at Nationals. Uh, also, I didn't do it with Jason McCartney, who was on Radio Shack at the time. We were teams a couple years later. He was all right. Everyone gets aggro in races. It's a, uh, I don't know. Don't have great memories from this, but it's a beautiful climb. It's a very nice day in Greenville. And uh, see if we can, well, we've already improved on my, on my past Greenville experiences. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying myself here, but we'll see if we can put the icing on the cake with this. Beautiful climb, nice views. Uh, it's 2.2 miles, um, average 7%. Uh, the KOM is eight minutes and 22 seconds, something like that, uh, held by Chris Butler. Now, Chris Butler is a local rider. 
don't know if he's originally from from Greenville, but he lived here since I ever heard of him. Uh, I believe he went to Furman University, which is down there. And to for those, I looked it up. Furman University. I I was always told that it was the their, their mascot was the Christian Knights. So you can figure out what Furman University Christian Knights had on the T-shirt. Uh, that's a myth. That's a myth, which was very disappointing to me. I do believe you can get the T-shirts, but it's not real. Uh, Chris Butler was, uh, he raced professionally, honestly like the same years that I did, a little bit younger than me, but uh, it's on a couple World Tour teams, Pro Conti teams, did the Europe thing uh, and, and lived here. And he was a climber, by the way. So Chris was uh, like at my best, I think I, I think I could beat him sometimes and he could beat me sometimes, uh, depending on if it was steep. He's a smaller guy. So steep gradient, Chris Butler was absolutely world-class. He got this KO in while he was racing. So I'm not, put this way, I'm not optimistic uh, that I can get this KOM, but if I knew I could get it, it wouldn't be interesting. And if I, that's not safe, that's not safe at all. That wasn't safe at all. Uh, so anyway, if I knew I could get it, it wouldn't be interesting. And uh, if I accomplished all my goals, what would I do tomorrow? Either way, tomorrow I'm gonna take a day, a day easy. <laughs> oh. So I did fly here with the Sea Sucker rack uh, in my suitcase to put on the rental car. Uh, that worked out real nice. The other Sea Sucker that I've got is uh, is holding the camera mount that I'm holding right now. Um, and that's gonna go on the car. So my camera person this trip, my camera people, uh, are my mom and my stepdad. Uh, so there will be no, there'll be no complaints about the camera video quality. <laughs> you guys had a, uh, you had a crepe today, the crepe, the line was too long from the other day. Uh, how was the crepe? I thought it was great, we shared crepe one. Crepe was awesome, yeah. We shared yeah, a nice good crepe. crepe. Okay. It was very good. And, and you've enjoyed Greenville. They took a little trip up from Atlanta, a few hour drive. You guys are enjoying Greenville? Very much. Very, very much. And Earl, Earl got the hat. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, so I missed it by like 10, 11 seconds. A little more sleep, a little more something. I could have had it, but that was my best ever for today. Uh, great time again in Greenville, South Carolina. If you go to Greenville, North Carolina, you'll be like, where's Embassy Suites? Where's the cool restaurants? Where's the Paris Mountain? It's not my fault, I told you South Carolina. So head over there, enjoy your trip. See you next time.